Okay, ma'am. Start. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Myself, Sriyashi Shengupta, an assistant professor from Triple E Department. Today, our department has organized a webinar on starting new ventures in the heavy engineering sectors in the Indian context. Thank you all for joining us for today's webinar. We are very much grateful to the speaker, Dr. Anrin Vartacharya sir, for having him with us today. Dr. Anrin Vartacharya is the founder and CEO of Risaran Engineering and Consulting EU, Vienna, Austria. He leads the company from its base in Leoben, Austria, with partner offices in India, China, and Canada. He studied metallurgy in Kolkata, India, and completed his PhD from Leoben, Austria. He is the inventor of several new technologies in iron and steel industries, while also being active in trading and arbitrage business of raw materials and steel products. He also invented two groundbreaking technologies of DRI production from plant and mining wastes, Desiron and Nomad. He has won several entrepreneurship awards. He is a distinguished speaker on numerous global platforms related to the steel industry. He was also honored as one of the top 40 under 40 EU India business leaders at the European Parliament Brussels in 2019. Today, in his lecture, he will explain about the challenges and opportunities for future entrepreneurs in the Indian context who would like to be independent in their profession and also create an impact to the society by creating jobs. I hope the webinar will be great and successful. Now, I would like to invite our respected Dean Sir, Dr. Ashok Kumar Shaw, to give welcome address. Am I audible, seriously, ma'am? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, you are audible. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is my pleasure uh, to welcome the renowned speaker here. Dr. Arin Bhattacharya, CEO of Resic Ron Engineering uh, Consulting EU Vienna, Austria. On the topic to deliver the lecture today speech is uh, starting new ventures in heavy engineering sectors in the Indian context. So this is such a relevant topic today. So, sir, respect, honorable sir, it is my pleasure to welcome you from the core of my heart, bottom of my heart, uh, to uh, our uh, virtual platform and uh, sparing your precious time for our dear students and faculty members. So, this is my pleasure to welcome you here. Sir, one more thing I would like to share, uh, request you, you can consider as a request in future if possible so in association with our hod and uh, other people is also associated uh, dr amal bhattacharya sir is also there so uh, if we can have your guidance for our dear students regarding uh, some internship or some uh, project related things so it will be very uh, uh, great uh, great uh, things for our uh, students so if you kind you kindly guide our dear students uh, in their projects in their internship and other things also if we can have your guidance for our department so it is a request and hopefully suman sir will take care of it and uh, he will involve lots of students in internship and writing some research paper and uh, having guidance from uh, Dr. Arun Bhattacharya sir uh, for our future entrepreneurs and everything, whatever uh, help we can have from him. So, uh, sparing your precious time with us, it is uh, we are grateful to you and hopefully uh, if time uh, just improves and if we overcome corona then uh, I would like to have your physical presence if possible sure. in our campus also. Okay. Okay. Sir. 
Okay, so uh, I would also like uh, to thank uh, uh, Tripoli Department for organizing such a wonderful uh, program and having such wonderful uh, resource person for the webinar. So, sir, uh, we will have some uh, more uh, interactions in future, hopefully. So, wishing you all the best for the day. Have nice time. On behalf of Regent Education and Research Foundation Group of Institutions, I am welcoming you to our virtual platform. And hopefully in future, I will again welcome you in our physical campus, hopefully if possible. So thank you very much, sir. Over to thank you, you Sir. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Over to you, Sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. That sound is come. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir. I am requesting all the participants uh, to mute yourself during the time of presentation. If you have any question, please put them on chat box only during question and answer sessions. Now, I would like to request Dr. Vartacharya, sir, to start the webinar. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Professor Shengupto. Thank you very much, Professor Shaw, for this uh, pretty nice introduction of me. I don't know if I deserve it, but thank you very much. And of course, it would be a very great pleasure for me to work with the students from RERF related to projects and internships in the future, because that is something we look for always, the students, and I see that the students are present here, quite a few, and I assume that they would find something interesting today, especially from the way. And uh, one question uh, for all of you, are all of you are electrical and electronic students or there are some other uh, branches? Uh, Professor Shengupta? Yes, sir. Um, All are electrical and electronics or there are some other branches? There are, are some other branches also from diploma, from different streams also. Okay. All right. That's even good because then we have uh, multiple disciplinary students. So uh, student uh, conglomeration. That's pretty good. So yes, however, sir. however, the point is I always like to have an interactive session with the students while presenting physically, but here, unfortunately, on online platforms, that's not really uh, very convenient. But however, even if you feel that you have a question during my presentations, just feel free to press the uh, raise hand button. And if the time permits, I will take a pause and also take that question. That is something very interesting, important because I don't want to be the one who is speaking all the time and rest are listening. And of course, I will not present very long because this is a subject which requires more input from your side rather than my side. So I look forward. I will speak maximum for half an hour and I will take questions afterwards. OK, so let me share my presentation a little bit. Wait. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. All right, good. So let's start. Okay, so as you can see, the topic that we have selected today is starting new ventures in the heavy engineering sectors in the Indian context. And I personally feel that the heavy engineering sector is somewhat neglected in the context, in the context of entrepreneurialism because when you think about starting new ventures, starting new, uh, new companies, Normally, people have there in their mind of starting high-tech businesses, 
compare, for instance, app developments start giving an online service, an online shop, any online platform, something like that. However, there is a general misconception, not only misconception, in certain times, the true conception also related to the heavy engineering because of its challenges. And of course, this is not easy. The classical startup scene in the USA is just like two guys in a garage with two laptops starting a new software company and giving uh, providing software solution to other companies and making millions in, in very fast. That doesn't work like that in the heavy engineering sector. But does that mean that we should prevent ourselves of starting our ventures, our new companies in the heavy engineering sector at all or not? Because if you see in the past, if you see recently, new and new ventures in the heavy engineering sectors are coming up and somebody, of course, somebody are doing it. Then why not try, have to try it? So this is the basic philosophy. Let's dig into deeper now. This is some very small information about me. I wouldn't like to take much time here, but I was just like to say that I was born in Calcutta. I left India in the year 2012 to continue my PhD in Montana University at Leoben, Austria. I studied metallurgy throughout the whole of my career. And that is something metallurgy as a branch may not be known to a lot of people. It is not as well known as mechanical engineering, civil or computer science. The reason is, first of all, there are not many universities in India or rather in the world which offer an education in metallurgy because starting a metallurgy department is expensive. And of course, this is the line of metallurgy is very, very specific and it requires a lot of knowledge from the side of physics, from the side of chemistry, industrial engineering, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering all together. So it's a little bit complex compared to other engineering sciences. It is quite diverse because the aspects like material science and nanotechnology also uh, are root from this side, but metallurgy in its, in its core business deals with the production of metals like steel, copper, aluminum, also nuclear metals, and everything that you see in the steel in the, about steel in the meanwhile. And metallurgy is something, a very, very uh, global way of uh, global, uh, what should I say? It's a global knowledge and technology which is not shared by many. So this is something where a leverage comes from our side. But however, if you think of a steel plant, there are not only metallurgists, there are people from all engineering backgrounds. So let's, in my talk, I will talk more about the sectors which I know from the heavy engineering sector. Apart from the metal sector, the mining sector, there are much other heavy engineering sectors, of course, but I will touch upon them, but mainly focus on the fields that I personally have worked on too. Now, all you know that thinking of a startup, starting off a startup, the concept sounds very romantic.